Have you ever met a trans person? Have you ever talked to a trans person? Have you ever asked them about their experiences? Looking back on my life, it's sad to me that I spent so much time fearing a part of me that I should have been loving. I abandoned myself in order to conform to my surroundings. The irony of all this is the very thing that I feared the most about myself ended up being the thing that freed me from a life of, of pain. That's one of the coolest quotes I've ever heard on Mormon Stories. The mm -hmm. thing I feared most about myself, the thing I feared about myself most was the thing that freed me from a life of pain. Yeah. Please state your name and date of birth. So for my first question, when did you know that you are in fact a unicorn? Come on, babe. If you don't want to, we don't have to post this. I just think it'll be good to document. It's been about three and a half years since you kind of started this journey, right? Like coming to terms with your gender identity. Like what has that journey been like and what, what's changed in the process? But a dancer shape um, I think the biggest change is that I've always felt like me on the inside, but letting that out on the outside has always been a lifelong struggle. Rivendell. Frodo. He's changing quickly. He's fading. He needs help. I always thought of the gender incongruence I was experiencing as something that would go away one day. But I've come to accept that this part of me will never go away and is meant to be embraced. Oh my God. This song is the Desi Tamer. I never imagined I'd be here. Like if you asked me three years ago that I end up where I am now, I, I wouldn't have believed it. Instead of putting myself in this box of labels that, that people put you in, I just have chosen to remove the boxes. What have been the main barriers to being yourself? Hmm. Honestly, shame. Yeah. Do you feel like there's a lot of people in our culture that, that still are shaming this? Yeah, I do. My pronouns, conservative, patriot. I'd like to declare something right now. My pronouns are USA. How about it, huh? It is false. Then for the good of society, and especially for the good of the poor people who have fallen prey to this confusion, transgenderism must be eradicated from public life entirely. Why was he dressed like that? He's a transvestite. I think people fear what they don't understand, so they project their fears onto other people. And that somehow by allowing other people to be who they are, it doesn't allow them to be who they are, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of funny if you think about it. About pronouns. Pronouns that you prefer and identify with. That way he, we can honor. He, him, for me. So. So I have been using she, her pronouns with you at home for a little while. That like feels natural. It feels right to me. Just explain like where you're at with pronouns. Um, I, I feel like just using all pronouns. So if people use he, him with you, it doesn't hurt your feelings. I don't care. It's like I have to remove my happiness from external 
things. Like I can't mm-hmm. depend on other people to say, like my happiness is depending on what they need to see me as. And so I know who I am and I'm just going to show up as Shay. And of course, that's just me speaking for myself. It's happening. How are you feeling? I'm so scared. <laughs> That's pretty spot. Oh, that's a good size. Supporters. I don't think so. So great. So you've taken steps so far, like in your journey, which a lot of trans people call transition, right? What have those steps been and how have each of them made you feel? So first of all, I used to have a lot less hair. And so I actually went to Turkey. We went to Turkey, to Istanbul. (laughs) Where they're known for hair transplants and uh, I got my hair back. It's all your own hair, but they just restored it to where it had fallen out. Yep. All bandaged. Let's see the back of your head real quick. So I also have started laser hair treatments. I'm on like my fourth one. And I started removing my beard. And that was very painful. It was mm-hmm. like having a needle stabbed into your face a million times, but... It's always fun. Yeah. So I found this secret about Disney. Disney has secrets all over it, and this is one of them. Behind this door, you have a ride that not really can go. <laughs> it's been good. It's been hard for me. It's funny like, to let go of certain things like that, just because it's like I've been wearing this mask my whole life. Hey, Desmond. Hi. Do you ever like wonder if maybe there's more to life? than our eyeballs. <laughs> it's like freaked me out just to take the mask off. And so I feel like every little thing I do is like this this feeling of like I'm losing myself, but really it's just, it's like I'm losing this perception of who I think other people think I should be. Mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Like, yeah. I, I've also been on HRT, so hormone replacement therapy for just over a year, maybe a little longer. No, it's been like close to two. No way. Yeah. For real, oh my gosh. And how has estrogen made you feel? Um, it's made me feel a lot better. I feel more at peace. I feel a lot more emotional. I feel lots of ups and downs. Um, but as a whole, I just feel a lot more centered in my chakra. <laughs> so every week, I stick this thing in my leg. And uh, I don't like it, but I do it for the children. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, there are certain things about taking hormone, hormone replacement therapy as a way to help to alleviate dysphoria. I've been doing that for about a year and it's, it's helped a lot, you know, and instantly I just realized like how much I do not like testosterone. I don't like it. And so how are you feeling about your surgery? So I'm getting Um, what they call facial feminization surgery. It's something some transgender people do to soften some of the features of the face. So when you go through puberty, a lot of your bone structure forms in a certain way if you have testosterone going through your body. I'm hoping to remove some of those traits so that I feel like I'm showing up as a more authentic avatar. If there's one thing this journey has taught me is that I feel like the greatest achievement in life is just to authentically be you. Mm -hmm. And so for me, I feel like this is a step in in a direction I never imagined would ever be be possible for me. Yeah. Do you feel like you have good support? Yep, I do. I, I have you and I have amazing people. So 
it's okay. I think one of the things I've struggled with my whole life is thinking that um, if I were to be me, that um, people would leave me. Yeah. And like I have you, my my biggest fear in, in uh, letting this come to the surface is that I would lose you, and you have <clears throat> you've been amazing. I love you. I love you too. Our sweet kids. They're excited for you. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I have all the support in the world and somehow I'm like I'm still so nervous and so <laughs> something you said to me was I was trying to get this all figured out is you said what else is there to do but just to be you. Yeah, and it like it's like something like everything just made sense. <laughs> like, like the, I was creating my own my own hell in my life because I was just trying to find every way and possibility to just not be me. We are on our way to Dr. Harrison Lee's office. Super excited because all FFS doctors, especially like world renowned ones like Dr. Lee have really long waiting lists. Dr. Lee has such a sterling record. We've seen so many wonderful reviews and his work. So, <sighs> should be good. Another thing I was just thinking about when you were talking is just the, this idea of, of, you know, embracing change, embracing uh, this idea of journey as opposed to viewing ourselves as static. And I think we do that a lot of times to ourselves, just human being wise, this idea of our look or our sexuality or how we think or how we, there, there can be this surprise that we change, which I think is such, it's such an interesting thought when we, most things that are alive, that we live with change, like seasons and, you know, the things that are, they all change and we have this expectation that they change, but then for human beings, it's like, you know, and so I just was thinking like how beautiful that is, this idea that, you know, what if we all held ourselves that way, that we expect ourselves to kind of change and evolve in all these ways. And the thing that actually feel, would feel odd would be not to. Yeah, because I think that's where suffering is, right? It's when we, we resist and we're not willing to, to move with the tide that moves in and out. And so I'm really happy. I'm really scared <laughs> because the surgery will have, you know, there's a recovery period with it. And, but I also have gratitude that, that I can do this and have somebody by my side to help me through this. That's right. And lots of people besides me. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Some amazing family and friends have been amazingly supportive, so. So cute! There you go. Are you guys going to stay together? Like, do you love each other as friends or like as husband and wife? You know? I'm like, no, I love Shay as my partner, my lover. And I definitely feel totally open to whatever Shay would feel most comfortable doing. Yeah. It's going to be a crazy journey. <laughs> Adventure, more like it. Where would be the ideal place to end up? Like, what, what's the, the end vision in your mind? I think, I think this idea of arriving somewhere with self is an illusion. I think a problem a lot of times people run into, especially with trans people, is like you view transition as like this destination and then I'll be happy. Life is all about the journey, right? It's like when we think we get what we want, there's always more, you know? So I think for me, it's just trying to take steps that just feel authentic. Does that make sense? It makes all the sense in the world. Oh, got a little interview, buddy. So Amanda, what is it like having a spouse who caught the transgenders? Oh, well, let me tell you, my womanhood is under assault. <laughs> <laughs> 
I don't have any makeup on or anything, so. That doesn't matter. Neither do I. Actually, I do. <laughs> <laughs>